Hi, how are you? Uh, today in this video I'm going to talk a little bit about the Sony ICD UX570. I've done some videos about this in the past and it's a little handheld digital recorder that I absolutely love. Uh, it has 101 uses and uh, really if you are into video production, if you're a YouTuber, if you have a podcast, if you are a musician, a DJ, whatever, there are 101 ways that this can be used and I really, really like it a lot, and I've gotten so much use out of it since I've bought it. And I'm just going to do a little run through and show you just a few of the features of the Sony ICD UX570. So, first of all, I'm going to turn it on, and the switch is over here to turn it on. I just have to pull it down, and it comes on. Very good. And let's say I'm going to go, I'm going to hit the back button. and I'm going to go to the main menu page. So I'm here at the main menu page and here it says recorded files but I can scroll through all the different options for the menu page here with the wheel. I can hit to the right and now I'm in the record mode, settings mode, back to playback and also we have a music mode so you can actually store some of your favorite songs in the Sony ICD UX570 as well and here we have the battery power indicator in the bottom right corner. Basically what I'm going to show you if I go to common settings or settings I should say uh, that's a very important place when you first get your recorder uh, a lot of the settings can be changed or altered in here so I will hit OK and we have recording settings, playback settings and common settings. Well under recording settings and again I just push the little circle in the middle here to go in and we have a lot of different options uh, create a folder, scene select, record mode, built-in mic sensitivity so on and so on and uh, I hope to go over more of that in future videos but right now I'm just going to show you I'm going to scroll down to record mode and you can see here what I love about this machine you can actually record in either mp3s or WAV files and we have three different bit rates of mp3s that we can choose from we have 192 kilobytes per second uh, 128 kilobytes per second and 48 kilobytes per second which is a mono option but if I want to record in really good quality waves I go up to the top where it says LPCM I hit OK and now I'm in wave mode and just to double check I'll go into record mode again to show you that that setting did get set and yes we see the little check mark by LPCM. Now another thing I'm going to show you there's something very important with this recorder called scenes and basically it just sets up how the recorder is going to record and I'll show you exactly what I mean so if I go in scene select and I scroll up and down I have auto voice record auto music record meeting so let's say you were having a staff meeting and you wanted to record it this would be the scene that you would want to use like say for example you can see in the image it's a bunch of people sitting around a boardroom table so you would use the meeting setting for that you have a lecture setting maybe if you're in a big hall you have voice notes so if you're going to use this recorder to record your own voice you can certainly do that. Interview. Uh, so you can put it into interview mode if that's how you're going to be using the recorder. Soft music, loud music, and you can ask, actually also create your own customized scene. So my scene one, my scene two, and so on. And certainly what I tend to use the most would either be voice notes and also something I love about the ICD UX570 if you look at the top you see that little red input right there off to the left now you can input a microphone into that but you can also input any stereo source for example a turntable a radio uh, a cassette deck and you can digitize all your old recordings it's very very easy to do and just to mention while we're here that these are the two built-in microphones 
But yeah, you may remember there was a setting for uh, line input or mic sensitivity. So I'm going to go back to that. And yeah, you can see here it says built-in mic sensitivity for voice for music. Okay. And you see there it says external input setting. So if you're going to be plugging in a stereo source, you want to make sure you have the correct setting on that. And as we can see, it's either mic in or audio in. So if I was inputting, again, a tape deck or a turntable, I'd want to select audio in. So those are just a couple of the features of the Sony ICD UX570. Again, I hope to get into more features in later videos. Certainly check out my other videos where I talk about this incredible little recorder. Again, it's so versatile. And uh, I've been working with uh, voice recorders and handheld recorders for much of my life. And I can say this is probably one of the better ones I've ever used. Again, it's just so easy to use and so uh, flexible. And it can be used in so many different ways. So thank you for watching. I hope you can join us again next time. Please, as always, subscribe to the channel. I post new reviews every week and would love to have you join our family. Every time someone subscribes, it really helps my channel grow. Leave a comment. Give us a thumbs up. We'd love to hear from you. We'll see you again next time. Take care. Bye-bye.